Good morning, I'm Leslie Ann with your morning mix. What a beautiful summer day today here in Oneonta. Plenty of sunshine on tap. When you just go into town and try to get us connected, it'll make Zoe happy and you know how much she didn't want to do this. Oh, no, this isn't good at all. Uh, sir, you can't get internet. Like, not even a little bit? Big news day, huh? Man, NASA's making some huge announcement. Yeah, they've been talking about it all day. We predict that an asteroid will strike somewhere within the continental United States within the next 72 hours. Hey! Hey! Hello? It's gonna hit your house. Come again. Spooks, they're watching you. I'm not running anymore. Great speech. I'm sure the asteroid will be very moved. The terrorist attacks of 9-11 provoked a wide range of responses. It's difficult to find the words to describe the feeling in New York City today. Including at least one sophisticated piece of misinformation. A viral internet documentary series called Loose Change. When Loose Change came out, it was a game changer. Loose Change proposed a number of unproven and false conspiracy theories, including the suggestion that the U.S. government was behind the attacks. Journalist Jonathan Kay has written extensively on conspiracy theories. He explains... These were the first people who took the conspiracist culture of the internet and said, let's turn this into something that looks like fairly slick entertainment. And because it's entertaining, people are gonna watch it. No, no internet. Really? Not even a little? Yeah, I just figured the government would step in and like send a rocket up into space and blow up the asteroid. Well, you might have heard that there is a possibility that we will be removed from the United States. So we are on our own. We have a president that would rather ignore the whole situation than deal with it. My family already left me. We got reporters showing up. Agents walking through my bushes and an asteroid is about to hit my house. <laughs> soon. Asteroid comes soon.